Okay, ladies and gentlemen, we are back. Hope you guys had a wonderful freaking weekend. And apparently, I sold my Orion, didn't I? I did. Well. Alrighty then. You made the right choice coming here for your cuppa instead of Lux across the way. Hello, welcome to Tranquility. If you fancy a cuppa, we have some new and classic blends that are sure to satisfy even the most discerning tea aficionado. Whether you want to relax at the end of the day or energize yourself while watching the latest Red Mile feed. Uh, Red Mile fan, huh? Do you know I've run it, run it before? familiar i think i've seen you in the feed before i can't believe i'm talking to another runner i'm a big fan of the red mile you know donovan reese he once came and ordered tea at our little shop <laughs> i think i died a little when he kissed my hand if you ever run into him uh, tell him I, I still remember i do enjoy a nice cup of tea aye that's the spirit it's not like you'll find a better drink over at cafe lux am i right so what can I get for you today? Milk tea? Uh, what teas do you recommend? Well, if you want something strong, we have Earl Grey, breakfast or classic black tea. If you want something relaxing, we have chamomile or easy sleep. But if you want something more exotic to tickle your fancy, might I suggest Lotus or Sunray? You said you were a Red Mile fan? Do you catch my latest run? Oh wow, I thought that was you! That last run was incredible. You know, you're generating a lot of buzz. There's a lot of talk that you're the next Donovan Reese. I... I wish you continued success. Let's drink. Tea time already? Kidding. It's always tea time around here. Yay. Nice. They all give an XP boost, huh? Any time for a wee cup of tea. Come here for a little R and R, huh? Me too. I shouldn't be telling you this, but don't call me the six property line. <sighs> Welcome to Paradiso Gift Shop and Convenience. Feel free to look around, don't break anything, or you've got to buy <laughs> it. And before you ask, there aren't any discounts. So don't even try to ego with me. Are you sure I can't talk you down any price? No. Ugh. You people always think that just because we're some French planet and not part of the free stars or whatever, that we're happy to ego for everything. <laughs> I wouldn't even care, honestly. But they take it out of my pay if any money's missing. So no, no discount. Why do I get the impression you don't like your job? Why would I? I have to sell overpriced crap to rude, obnoxious tourists all day. My uncle works for the Paradiso board. When he said he could get me a job here, I expected an executive level job, not this. <sighs> but it's not all bad. I don't have to worry about getting fired. And I live in Paradiso for free. <laughs> Can I get you something, or are you going to keep asking questions about my life? Alright, let's show me what you got. Okay, take a look. <laughs> Just gonna buy all this. Action use. Advanced Nova Light, Advanced Regulator, Advanced Solstice, Professional Advanced Orion. Acticians. 
it's cheaper. I just need the advanced version. I can, uh, you know. Yeah. Uh, okay. Damn, just 20% damage up in general. This is 40% damage up. Not great. Have fun out there. Thank you. Enjoy your stay knowing you're in our game. Please, let the concierge know if you need anything. If I could just stay here forever, I would. I was worried about my beach body until I spoke with that lady at Enhance here. We've got some of the best private security in the settled systems. I hope your stay here is going well. I'm here to satisfy your needs. I hope your stay is a pleasant one. During the day, between you and me, I'm kind of glad most of the execs never show up to work. Excuse me, you can't just waltz in there. Do you have an appointment? I right, know. Do you have a problem with a ship in orbit? I'm here to help. Oh, you're the one they're waiting for then. Do you need anything else from me before you meet with the board? Uh, what can you tell me about the board? <laughs> what I could tell you would get me in a lot of trouble. Most of them are typical C-level execs. I doubt you even need to use your imagination for that. The ones that show up to work day to day, at least. I swear, I've never even met some of them, because they chill at their own private secluded beach homes all the time. Anyway, be smart around Oliver. He's got a way of getting what he wants without you realizing it. And that's all I'll say. What were everyone's thoughts when the ECS constant show up? People were a little freaked out around here, understandably. It looks so different and it's so massive. We honestly thought we were under attack by an unknown entity. But then nothing happened. It just stayed there. No one could communicate with it. And we've been very careful not to alert the resort guests. The board believed it would be bad for business. What is it like working for Paradiso? I can't speak for anyone else, but I've got a pretty high-pressure job working as the executive assistant to the Paradiso board. You can imagine dealing with a team of execs trying to manage all of their schedules and their other whims. But it pays well, and they give me a nice executive suite at the hotel to live in. So it's not all bad. Free access to all the resort's amenities after work helps, too. Cool. Ready. Sure. Have fun in the Shark Tank. And don't worry, even they call it that. Don't worry about us. We're just here to keep the peace. I just feel that we should be focusing on the natural beauty of this planet, not our amenities. There are millions of planets out there. People can go to any one of them. The resort facilities are precisely what we bring to the table. Heck, <laughs> it's the only thing we've really got to offer. Ah, 
I don't want to risk us coming off as just another artificial, shady, trash fiddle dump like Neon. That's not who we are. We've got something special here. We should embrace that. The Lom's right. Thank you. I... We don't want to compete with Neon. Bayou's ruthless. He'll do anything he can to eliminate the competition. We don't need that kind of trouble. That being said, I think there's a middle ground. Maybe build up the beachfront in a boardwalk amusement park. I've had this idea to build artificial hot springs. That sort of thing. Uh. Sounds good. I'll look into what that will cost us and we can circle back around to this. Come on, mate. We'll make some time for you, but keep it quick, yeah? You operate this resort outside the cell system, don't you? Not quite. We just don't answer to the Free Star Collective or the United Colonies. Makes things easier. We don't pay any taxes. We don't need to follow their laws. All the benefits, none of the drawbacks. And no one minds because half the politicians and other big shots love vacationing here. It works for everyone. What can you tell me about Paradiso? We, the Paradiso Group, bought the rights to this planet years ago with the intent of turning it into the biggest and best resort in the universe. To that end, I'd say we've succeeded. As such, no other leisure enterprises may operate on the planet without renting land from us. But as you can see, none can afford such a deal. <laughs> Are there really only three board members? No, of course not. There are several more. We're just the ones who show up day to day. The others spend their time lazing on the beach or gallivanting off world. Doesn't bother me though. Less cooks in the kitchen means I get to make all the big decisions around here. Seems to be working out for us just fine. I understand you're the man I need to talk to, but the strange ship in orbit. I am. And you must be the diplomat Jiro told me about. Welcome, welcome. Normally I'd offer you an all inclusive stay at our resort before we spoke. But given these circumstances, I'm going to cut to the chase. We've got our friends, the aliens, up there causing all sorts of problems for our resort. You like that? The marketing team came up with it. The thought is, if we can't get rid of them, it might actually attract more tourism. Come see the aliens! <laughs> Why is it a problem so urgent to you? We run a premier resort getaway here. <laughs> we can't have our guests concocting stories about some bodgy old ship hanging around up there. As it is, we've had to reroute our luxury liners around the other side of the planet on entry so no one sees it. <laughs> it's bad for business. We need to nip this in the bud and take care of it before the tourists catch on and cause a scene. Hmm. People are never gonna fall for that. You'd be surprised what people fall for. Locally sourced island fruit essences, for instance. It's just the same old fruits brought over from Earth ages ago, but we get nearly ten times a market for them. But you're right, no one's gonna buy aliens. Remind me to fire the marketing team. <laughs> so tell me, what's the actual deal with this massive eyesore of a ship, besides scaring people away? Hmm. What would you say if I really did tell you it was an alien mothership here to destroy the planet? I'd say you're full of it and might have been watching too many movies. Now, instead of wasting my time, want to tell me what it really is? A generation ship full of colonists from Earth here after a 200 year journey. Well, that's something. Shame we can't just tell them kindly to bugger off. Something tells me that's not going to work. Now, tell me, what are we going to do about it? Give me some proposals, people. I need something to work with here. Hmm. We could offer to resettle them here. There's more than enough space. They could stay here. Temporarily. But it'll cost them. Quite a bit, too. They'd need to work off all their debts before being allowed to leave. Ah, uh, maybe not. What if we help them get out of here? Outfit their ship with a grab drive so they can find a new home. We could even lend our engineers to help and give their captain an updated star map. What do you think? Sounds costly. We can't absorb that cost, and it's unlikely they even have compatible currency, let alone enough for the transaction. Someone else would have to foot the bill. 
Oh, I swear this would be a lot easier if they ceased to exist entirely. Anyway, Seema's got the right idea. Either works for me. Just tell me what you want to do. Why can't they just settle on the other side of the planet or something? We own this planet. They don't. Here at Paradiso, we don't like leaving things to chance. Who knows what these people will do with their land? Imagine the landscaping disasters they might come up with. And how that might mar the satellite imagery of the planet in our brochures. No. Much better to assimilate them into our culture if they come here to live, rather than leave it to chance. Hmm. I understand your point from a business stance, but I disagree. And that's within your right. But as the CEO of Paradiso Group, I'm the one who has to make and approve decisions around here, not you. So, as much as I appreciate your feedback, it's not in the best interest of the Paradiso Group to take it into account. Why can't we just let some of the other authority handle this? We operate outside of the Free Stars and the UC, partially because we don't want anyone else meddling in our affairs. And we'd rather not draw attention to it, as I've mentioned. It could be bad for business. We'd much rather settle this independently. Cease to exist? Are you suggesting I destroy the ship? I'm not suggesting anything. Other than it would make our lives so much easier if that ship ceased existing. Make of that what you will. Wait, why do I have to buy the grab drive? It's not our responsibility to bear the brunt of that cost. We're being more than generous by offering the use of our engineering team to help install it. A custom grab drive can't come cheap, and I assume they have neither the monetary means nor the connections to get a hold of that kind of technology. That leaves the only other party in this negotiation. You. So they can live here, but they be indentured servants. Oh, I didn't say that specifically. This would be a mutual contract for room and board in exchange for services rendered. Of course, there's no telling how long this arrangement will last, given the substantial costs we'd need to take on in order to accommodate them here, including their continued room and board. But this may save the resort on operating costs in the long term, as we'd be able to let go of some of our current paid staff. <laughs> I think I uh, made up my mind. And which proposal will you be taking to the good captain? I assume there's a captain. What if, after all this, they continue to insist their claim on this planet? They'd be hard-pressed to defend their claim in any courts. Our charter goes back years. It was registered with both the UC and Free Star Collective, per the Centaurus Proclamation. We may be outside the settled systems, but that charter's official as can be. I'm sorry, but you're going to need to be the one to break the news to them that they need to make a compromise or leave. Hypothetically, what could make that ship, a ship like that go away? I have no idea, because I'm not suggesting anything of the sort. But it's a wonder that old ship made it all the way here in such a relatively short time. Must have really been pushing themselves. An engineer friend of mine told me once that the reactors on those old ships have a tendency to self-destruct if they overload. Of course, their engineers must have taken great care not to push it too far. Someone would likely have to override the safety systems in the reactor computer. But who would do such a thing? We better be talking super duper hypothetically here. Hmm. Guess we're tabling it for now. Let's circle back around ASAP, though.
yours before. Then again, I haven't seen any ships before. Either. We've got strict rules around here. They're strict for a reason. Hey! Piloting the old constant has been fun. I'm looking forward to playing some Where the freak is your captain? Our people never expect. Be safe. Now that you're here, I can finally give my crew it. Don't forget to tell of us in your travels. Oh my god. Choices. That's really stupid. I can't even make it so that uh, they take over the planet. Oh God! Green on release. We're free to fly. This really sucks. This really sucks. takes a certain route, showing me the beauty of this world. But this time, our entry seemed to take uh, longer, and we passed by a lot more open water. Was there something wrong with our normal flight path? I heard the rumors of a ship in order. Please allow me to apologize for this inconvenience. This alternate entry was required due to a meteor shower affecting the usual descent route. Nothing to worry about. To make up for this, allow me to credit your account with a 15% discount on spa amenities. Once again, we are dreadfully sorry. It's okay, Vietor. I know you're programmed to be overly concerned with your service. I just wanted to know why, but thank you for crediting my account anyway. It is my sincerest wish that this humble robot servant has brightened your day. If I have failed in any way, please know that I am dreadfully sorry. Please let Paradis of staff know if hey, I I noticed you arriving at port shortly after I did. Something's been bothering me, and I've been dying to ask another guest. They told us there was a very active meteor shower, which is why we had to divert our flight path coming in for our landing. But I haven't seen a single shooting star since I've been here. That's weird, right? It is not a meteor, it's a ship, and the Paradiso group doesn't want you to know about it. Why, that sounds even more ridiculous than what they told me. If there was a ship, they'd just say it was a ship. And why would they divert us for a ship? There are always huge luxury liners coming into port, and they've never diverted the shuttles before. I'm sorry for bothering you. <laughs> a ship. Well, at least you made me laugh. Of course. Oh. Well, hello in there. Oh, yeah.
Okay, there you go. Thank God. Okay, well, there's uh, two more places I could go. Be happy with who you are, inside and out. If you need it. Oh sure. Every day's nice around here. Oh, I think you Parity, so security's only here for your safety. If it's not important, bring it up with here. and you've made your decision. We can help them resettle here and work off their debt, or we can outfit their ship with a grab drive at your own personal expense. I'll buy the grab drive. Ah, good on you. You want to see a man named Benny St. James over at Hope Tech. He's the best in the business. If anyone can retrofit a 200-year-old ship with a modern grab drive, it'd be him. We'll coordinate our engineering team with his when you return, though you may have to help the Constance engineers prepare for it on their end. Good luck. There's a lot of land out there for the taking. It'll be hard. Talk to anyone in list. But it'll be theirs. Right. On behalf of the Paradiso Group, we appreciate your help. I'm sure you realize how... Go on now. Enjoy Paradiso. Ugh. Please. The concierge know if you... Need anything. Mighty hero awakens. Let's go. Is it my rented bedroom? I did. This is the exact same. Oh yeah, it is the exact same layout as the uh, new Atlantis one, isn't it? Wow. What did they put in here? Just a small office? Okay. Taken. Salut, bonsoir, good evening. Welcome to Chez Simon. I am Simon, and this is my rooftop bar and lounge. Might I interest you in some refreshing spirits? 
Perhaps something special to enhance your stay with us, huh? Do you own this lounge? Yes and no. It's my name on the sign, and I generally get to run it the way I want and take in a significant chunk of the profits, but technically, the Paradiso Group does own it. I even had to sign over my name to get it up on the sign. Part of my contract with them. But I tend to look at it as job security. What, are they going to find another world-class bartender named Simon to replace me? I think not. Any juicy gossips? Plenty, but I consider myself a professional. It wouldn't be kind to spread gossip about my co-workers at this resort. However, I don't consider the Paradiso Group board members co-workers, so they're fair game. I have heard from multiple celebrity visitors that our CEO, Oliver Campbell, isn't as domineering and uh, virile as he lets on. At least not behind closed doors, if you catch my drift. Word is, he likes to be told what to do, and his uh, performance evaluations are often subpar. Normally, I wouldn't spread such rumors, but that guy is rotten and thinks way too highly of himself. Interesting. How crazy do the parties get here? <laughs> they can sometimes get pretty out of control, but security does a good job making sure they don't get to the point where someone gets hurt. We've had to do away with the phone parties, for instance. Soapy surfaces and a hundred meter drop are not a good combination. Before you worry, we never had a fatality because of it. Just a few close calls. Uh. I was worried about my beach body until I spoke with that lady at the hands here. I guess I have to admit, this resort isn't as bad as I thought it would be. I'm just glad I don't work on the luxury cruisers that bring you. Do I know you? Sorry, did you need something? I'm trying to enjoy my vacation. Who are you? Rowan Masterson, natural service. I'm a tea sommelier for tranquility. I ensure all our brews match our high standards for consistency and quality. And I also travel systems wide to seek out new and interesting brews. After all, I fancy myself quite the tea enthusiast, so I'm quite good at discovering delicious new tastes. Is it true you have a secret drink recipe? Ah, yes. The rumors are true. My job requires me to always be looking for new flavor profiles, in teas especially. I've been working on a new tea drink that I think will make a big splash with tea connoisseurs everywhere. But I'm not quite ready to present it just yet. I'm afraid you'll need to wait like everyone else. I convince you to part with your recipe. This should be interesting. Is it really fair that your employer will own the exclusive right to this recipe and not you? They do pay my salary, so yes, it is fair. Quite so, in fact. Hand it over. Not happening. Okay, well, it's not selfish to protect corporate interest, but I see your point. After all, this is just something I've been working on in my free time. Uh, sharing the recipe with me can't hurt, right? It's probably not that big of a deal, <laughs> to be honest. I mean, what are you going to do? Open up a shop and compete with just one lousy recipe? Very well. I can tell another tea enthusiast like myself when I meet one. What's the harm in sharing what I found to be a particularly delicious brew? Besides, it's not even guaranteed to go to market anytime soon. And even when it does, there are bound to be changes. So here, enjoy. I never thought I'd be engaging in corporate espionage for tea. Just goes to show you never know what'll happen. Why did I think three days? Yikes. So laggy up there. My god. I can't believe how bad this game looks and how bad it runs. I don't think any place can be more perfect. Did you get it? 
I got it. Amazing! I can't believe you did it. I hope it wasn't too difficult. It was tough. Oh, uh, you want more? I'm sure we can work something out. Yeah, I hope so. We both know you're lowballing me. We may have to agree to disagree. I'm sure we can work something out. I hear you. I'm glad you're willing to see things from my viewpoint. I'm not an unreasonable person, you know. Mm, I'm not asking for any more than I deserve. I already made you a fair... No. Oh. I promised myself that if I want to make it in this universe, I need to be more firm. And that goes for right now, too. So, if you want any credits at all, you'll take what I give you. It was a challenge, but don't worry about it. Here you go. Well, I can't tell you how much I appreciate it. Now, let's take a look. Like, honestly, Wait, the persuasion system sucks ass. ingredient is... Coffee? Really? So bad. <laughs> well, I guess I'm in luck. Once I brew this tea, it'll be a snap. And I have higher quality coffee ingredients to boot. So it'll be even better than what they have here. Stop by if you ever want to try some. I put every single skill point into it if and I it still sucks. Okay, I don't understand. Visit my room? I did though. I shouldn't be telling you this, but don't like I, I I went in here, I slept in here. Why is this quest still active? I'm guessing it's always marked to tell me where my room is, which is really stupid. Like, really, really stupid. There are so many activities I'm looking forward to doing, but I'm just having a good time. That's a, so annoying. Enjoy your stay, knowing you're an archie. Is there any reason to go around here? Right. There are so many activities I'm looking forward to doing, but I'm just having Not a good time with that. Jesus, is this where the staff stays? Oh my god. It's... I'm here to satisfy your needs. I hope your stay is a pleasant one. It's a massive dump. Some of our guests. I am glad I'm gonna convince those people to not live here. I'm here to satisfy your needs. I hope your stay is a pleasant one. Get another nice day in Paradiso. What the 
hell? I'm on vacation because I don't want to be I was worried about my beach body. Until I spoke Scram. with that lady at the hands here. In the mood. Okay. Can't wait for my shift to be over so I can relax like a guest. Everything here is a little more expensive than what I expected. Guess that's how they get you. Why did I think three days was going to be enough? They're repeating so many lines. Oh yeah, did I check the chunks? No one's going to care if I come up sick from work for another week, right? This is probably the best vacation I've ever taken. No. It's not here. One of these days, I'd love to experience this. And I checked this already, so it's not here either. I'm trying to find a stupid missing thermos. to Hope Tech? I need to go all the way to freaking Hope Tech? Oh my god. Okay. Just because our equipment's old doesn't mean it won't work to take down drone
Well. Clearance released. I honestly don't know where the thermos could be. One more thing is be on the rooftop bar, right? But it's not. I've been up there. I hope your stay is a pleasant one. I'm about to just go look this up instead of looking for this myself. It's, it's ridiculous. Right, we're looking it up. What's the stupid quest call? Lost and found? Where the hell is that? Oh my god. Okay. That was outside the hotel. It is on the way to the landing pad. Hope you're staying safe out there. And the game crashed, didn't it? I don't even know why that crashed. That was just a, that's a very random crash. Like, what was it trying to load in? I don't even know. Okay, so you save when I enter the ship, but you didn't save when I land on the planet game? Very stupid.
and then right here yeah it wasn't even highlighted do you see that all the other items got highlighted when i got close to it except for the thermos no wonder no wonder why did i think three days was going to be enough because i know i passed by that like multiple times enjoy your stay so inconsistent it is my pleasure to make your stay as accommodating as possible surely i can do something for you here huh well this is unexpected you really shouldn't have felt obligated to help but the truth of the matter is you've actually saved me a great deal of time and headaches so i suppose i should give praise where praise is due so good I should probably give you something for your trouble. Thank you. I guess. <laughs> Thank, thanks. Can't believe this is an actual thing. So stupid. Oh yeah. Go to New Homestead. Okay, then. Why am I under my ship? Why would you spawn me like this game? What is wrong with you? I literally cannot get out. Oh my god. Oh my god. You care? Seriously? Seriously, game? I made my ship too big, so you spawned me underneath it? Oh, Jesus Christ. Triple A game, my ass. Okay. Um, fine. We'll just do this. Uh, is that it? Collision off. Jesus Christ on hey what can i do for you careful there are some dangerous areas around here fucking stupid you don't want to get hurt or sick around here dr lakota colonies are not smaller than hey, I thought they were. I got the sauce. Hell yeah, you came through. Thanks a whole bunch. This is going to put this place back on the map. Great. Careful out there. Some wacko is running around in an... We don't want to go to Neon. Don't want to go there. That's Neon. Complete shadows in neon. Oh, this one. Uh, go to Hope Tech. Give the recall claim.
We've been mining this rock since time immemorial. You're kidding me. This is even worse. Oh my god. I don't want to make my ship smaller. It's perfect. Got anything it is. you need to offload? Trade authority is always by. Kiosk, right? Not you. Ah, it's you. An another busy day in Gagarin Land. I'm here on behalf of Parody so to pick up an air purifier part for the recall. I'd like to help you, but there's a problem with my computer system. I can't verify your claim number at the moment. The technician said they should be done fixing it by 1100 hours local time. I could help fix this computer right now if you don't mind. Hmm. Normally I wouldn't allow it, but work is starting to back up. And I wasn't looking forward to staying late to finish processing all the claims. So, what the hell? Take a crack at it. Boss, get out of my way, walks, Sam. Just keep turning right. You'll... Get where you're going eventually. Or was it left? I, uh, I fixed don't it. think... You are just a wizard with tech. It's... Well, impressive. Shut up. How about that? I guess I can call up the technician. And thanks to you, I won't have to work extra to make up for the time. Here's your order. Thanks again for the help. All right. Comparity, so this is the extent of the gameplay. Uh, I am going to finish this game though, probably, hopefully today. But I doubt I'll finish everything in like seven hours. Even though I want to. It may be paradise. Oh, it's you. Bear sailing may be canceled for the time being, but uh, I don't know how much longer we can know, go with the air still have other fun activities. If shop clerk was pretty rude, that she always has such a bad attitude. Uh, you must mean Jacot. Sorry. Yeah, I've tried to fire her several times over it, but her uncle's a Paradiso group board member. Between you and me, he's just as lazy, but he's determined to give his niece a job here, and it's about the bare minimum she can handle. I've tried explaining she's bad for business, but the sales numbers don't reflect that. It's the only shop on the island, so people still buy plenty. Anyway, I'll try talking to her again for all the goods it will do. I have the new air purifier parts for you. Hey, you got them? That's great. And just in time, too. One of my maintenance people said they heard something rattling around in one of the purifier units. Thanks. I'll make sure the staff here always treats you right. Thanks. Thanks, darling. All right. First contact. Good hope tech. Yeah, I'm glad I explored everywhere first. Because now I can just quickly fast travel between everything. It's great. And the funny part is, this is how you're supposed to play this game. You can't even fly here yourself. To think one man. Oh, God. This. Nothing Jesus was here Christ. Until Ron Hope. I don't want to hear any complaints. An eye on your valuables. Can't I'm just gonna fly there. Okay, guys. In space. <laughs> Their motto always cracks oh, me up. Hello. Uh, I heard you're an expert in grab drives. Uh, need to ask you a favor. Sure. That sounds like me. What can I do for you? 
I'm a little busy, but uh, I think I could spare some time. 